of coach Steve Pollack. And they've started the week with the hiring of coach Park Kwesi Fabian eight years after his dismissal for non-performance. Fabian becomes the club's 14th coach to be appointed in 10 years and has been contracted to take charge of the club on an initial one-year deal. He replaces Englishman Steve Pollack, who had his contract terminated last Friday following the team's elimination from the 2018 CAF Confederation Cup. Joining me for some analysis is Joyce Paul's George Addo Jr. Thank you so much for joining us, George. Always so great really, what pushed management to sack Steve Pollack? This comes as a surprise to many. Surprise to everyone. And I, th I, I wish we knew. I wish we knew because we're only conjecturing and we're asking, could it be because of non-performance? Mm. If it's because of non-performance, then we are all wondering how come that is. Because Kumasi Asante Kodoko, yes, failed to move through uh, the preliminary stage of the CAF Confederations camp mm. um, after losing to Kara. But obviously, mm. that wasn't the coach's fault. They played the first leg down here, one by one, goal to nail. After missing three penalties out of four, they went back to Congo, played an interesting game. The, the Congolese had the goal, even that was an own goal. Mm. Then they had a penalty shootout. The goalkeeper saved three. And Kumasi Asante Kodoko still was not able to you know, get a result and qualify. It would be difficult to say and this coach has been sacked because of non-performance. Mm. And it's one of the reasons Kumasi Asante Kodoko fans are just wondering, why is coach Steve Pollack gone? The statements that have been released by the clubs do not point to anything. anything. All they say is they have terminated the contract, the coach is fine, and they want to move on. Mm. We know it's a club obsession anyway to want to do well in Africa. And you know, in the last... Uh, what, the last episodes that we've seen where coaches being sacked, mm -hmm. they've actually been sacked almost when they have not moved to the next stage of the CAF Confederations Cup. So it's easy to say maybe Pollack has been sacked because of non-performance, but it doesn't really wash. Now, that's not the only surprise. Mm -hmm. The surprise also, another one mm -hmm. is who is replacing him. That's the big one. That's <laughs> the big one. So if anybody's watching and anybody's following this, it says that you took Coach Steve Pollack away to bring in Parkwesi Fabian. Now, Parkwesi Fabian is not a bad coach, but we're looking at the circumstances surrounding Parkwesi Fabian and respect at this club. Because what? Parkwesi Fabian, um, not long ago, was with Inter-Allies, did a job, he was sacked on the job, boy, you can say this. He was also with um, the other 17 team. And remember that they were in India, he just finished with them, they were in quarter-final quarter final stage. Mm. So he's not a bad coach. He's handled teams like Wasserman, like Hatta Lions. He's been hugely credited with bringing up fantastic new talent, we all can see, that are going through. So he's not a bad coach. But eight years ago, Park Kwesi Fabian was a Kumasiya Sante Kotoko, and they deemed him uh, not good enough for the job. So it's a bit surprising that they'll move for Park Kwesi Fabian at this time, uh, and rather hmm. take, you know, coach the polar car. So my question is, what really do Kumasiya Sante Kotoko want to achieve with um, getting in Park Kwesi Fabian? maybe to stabilize the ship, maybe to try and keep their heads. Remember that there's a Ghana Premier League starting this weekend. So there was some considerable pressure on Kumasi Asante Kotoko really to mm. get in someone. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that uh, Park Wesley Fabian would even agree to do this job in the first place, considering how complicated the Kumasi Asante Kotoko job is. Mm. You are obviously not only up against you know, you're, you're the playing body and how to get the players in. You're up against the fans, you're up against the management, you're up against, you know, royalty, you're up against everything. And Comasio Santa Cruz is definitely more than a club. So I'm surprised Park with Steve Fabian mm. uh, has agreed to do the job. Okay. But I, I don't think he's far off. He can do something. So under the circumstances, is sacking Coach Steve Pollack and bringing Park with Steve Fabian in the right decision for the, for the, uh, for the club? I, I, I don't think so. If Comasio Santa Cruz agree that it's a club obsession to make it to Africa and do well in Africa. We have said over and over again, for me, there are two routes to making sure you do well in Africa. Route one, because we do not have money. And we talked about the economies of teams in West Africa or countries in West Africa, because obviously if you don't have a good economy, you can't expect the football economy to do well. So we agree that we don't have money. So what do we do if you don't have money? If you don't have money, you try to keep the boys that you have got for at least three or four years. That's a formidable squad. They understand themselves and they go to win. So we look back at what we did in, in 2000 when Hearts of Oak won, in 83 when Comanche Santa Cotico won. They kept a team for that long. The late uh, Jones uh, at Tukwifu, they kept a team for long. And that team that, that, team, that team that was kept for long was able to go and win it. The other route is, do you have a rich man in the house? Do you have uh, a bloody rich man who can get money, 
by players who are winning the titles. So we talk about the AS Vitas, the Mamelodi Sundowns, we talk about the Akles, the, the Mazembes, the Esperance, the Wadat Casablancas. What you do is you have a lot of money. So you buy players who have won it before, buy coaches who have won it before. Then you have the quality to do this. Mm -hmm. Comercia Santa Cotico have failed in doing these two. They have a, a, they have a squad. Mm. I mean, nothing against Comercia Santa Cotico, but they have a squad that is low in quality compared to what is happening on the African continent. Mm. And indeed, I could say, more, almost all the Ghana Premier League clubs are not there yet. Mm. We, are, we have become a supplying belt. Players do well for a season, and they are shipped. So a team like TP Mazembe is doing well today because they had about five Ghanaian players from Brickham Chelsea. We've got our players going into Libya, into mm. Kuwait, mm. into Tunisia. And, and yeah, th those who watched the CAF Super Cup saw with that Casablanca up against TP Mazembe. He had about four Ghanaians playing that. Daniel Nietzsche was on the bench but has won another you know, trophy. So we allow our players to go. We are not doing what we need to do. Yet we sit down here and say we want to go to Africa. Mm. And then you, you make it look like Coach Steve Pollack didn't do the right thing and he's not sent us to Africa. He cannot do the job. So let's sack him. Look at the turnout. 10 years, 14 coaches. The squad has been changing as much every season. Kotoko would bring in about eight or seven players. No consistency. You can't win anything. Interesting. And, and when they've had money, mm. Dr. Che said, Dr. Che is uh, uh, the CEO, and he says that he's waiting for the boys to win the Confederations Cup, then he will give them two bedroom houses. And I said, if you have two bedroom, if you have money for two bedroom houses, you'll be costing about 150,000 Ghana cities, mm. and you can do that for a whole squad. Why don't you use the money to get players in? Okay, finally win? on this one, you know his track work, yeah. record, yeah. Parkus yeah. I'm talking about. Is he likely to succeed? If he's going to be given the free hand to work at Comercia Santa Cotico, Parkus Fabian will succeed. But he knows that I know well, you're not going to get a free hand to work in Comercia Santa Cotico. It's a club that can extend the coach's contract by one year and extend the assistant coach's contract by two years. How does that make sense to you? Because that was what, um, <laughs> yeah, you know, that's what Coach, coach Polak was facing. Coach mm. Polak had been given a one-year contract and his assistant, Akako Patron, had been given two years. Mm. So there's so many things that you fight against at Comercia Santa Cotico. He's the right guy to get in some youth talent for them if they can keep them and go in that. But Park Bessie Fabian, I can only pray for him. Mm. It's, a, it's a difficult job he's, he's gone in there. And the fans are next to Raw if things are not going well. They don't know about whether he came in now or worse. When the league starts and Hearts of Oak are doing well, they're not doing well, they'll then be back and say, sack the coach, sack the coach. Talking of Hearts of Oak, it reminds me of how they also sacked uh, Yeah, they coach. sacked Frank Lutau mm. and they, they put the team now in charge of um, Henry Wellington. And, and it makes for an interesting start of mm. the Ghana Premier League, really. Mm. I mean, uh, things are going out there. So, now, Kumasi has answered the call. Let's see what they can do. Okay, since you're here, let's just do the sports segment. Uh, 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 and let's talk oh, about yes. the Wafu. Uh, uh, tournament. Oh, the girls the won. Yes, they Yesterday won. they were met at the airport. Uh, yes, very, they did. Uh, very they did nice. So well. um, uh, we have to say congratulations to them for winning the Wafu Zombi Women's Nations Cup for the first time in Ivory Coast. Uh, first time, I think, well, they were able to beat Nigeria as well and go through this. But you know what? Um, truly, I'm happy for them. It's good they won this. But critically, they must come back and win the African Women's Championship. That's the trophy we're looking for. That's the trophy we're looking for. So congratulations to Messi Tegu for doing this job mm. in a short while. And mm. I expect her to go back, get all the, she has all the time to get the, the ladies together. We need them to win the African Women's Championship. Mm. That's what it is. They're hosting it, you know, in, in Accra. And hopefully, if they can win that, then I'll be totally excited mm. about, about what they have yeah, done. Yeah, the here. First Lady has asked all of us to support them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, she's, and, and, and she's doing well. And give them and our I, prayers. I, I hope it's not only in, 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 in she's not just waxing lyrical. It's in only kind, in we but need, also the We cash. need to see the cash flow. Mm. And, and she should be able to convince the, the first man of the land when the ladies need their monies. Because, okay, so they won it. When the, when the guys won the waffle, what happened? Ah, $100,000 and they gave it to them. I'm yet to hear something. They've won waffle. That waffle competition they won on, on, on Saturday is the equivalent of what the guys mm. won here. Mm. So we made a lot of noise about that. We have to make a lot I of noise about I was quite scared that. for that one because the, the team they met, Cote d'Ivoire, Cote beat them in, in the, the, group, first, in the yes. group stages. The group stage. So I was just hoping oh, that they, they well. would be able they to... They play well. They, they, they have something in them. And, and when you speak to them, drive. they feel like that they have a massive drive and, mm. and they want to do this. So I love it, Rebecca. Kofad is great. But can you go ahead, push them out, give them their monies? Mm. We've got more. The black princesses, they're doing well. The black ladies are doing well. The men are failing us, so we are excited about what. But they but need someone to someone raised this argument yeah. that the men may be failing, but but they are bringing in more money. So looking at the business side, yeah, it's but quite it's, good it's to not, invest in the men it's, because it's, it's they'll bring you fault. more money. Yeah, I mean, but it's not their fault. 
It's not their fault. It's not their fault because worldwide, men football still works in a lot of money than female football. If you go to the EPL, I mean the UEFA Champions League final, do you know that, do you even know that every year the UEFA Champions League women's final is played two days before the male final? You only hear about the male final. It's, it's just, so, so you can't blame them. But I think whatever it is, they are putting us out there on the map mm. and it's, it's a good one. What are you happy about? Like Christopher Pong, in, yeah, in yeah, skiing yeah, and skiing yeah, and all of that. Yeah. How about this winning? So I want to see skeleton. all the support, the skeleton. Yeah. I, I want to see all the support come in, come through, give them their monies, mm. make them feel good. If we're talking about the sport then, we have to just rush through this. I mean, Chelsea fans are very excited. I mean, very excited uh, in the negative uh, why way. Why are you? Why are you in a hurry? I, I was I just going talk, because I mean, going. Yeah, why? Why? I mean, yeah, I know Manchester won, and you're excited. Lukaku you, scored you, a goal. He could have yeah. scored more. Oh my God. Why am I wearing red I today? I don't, I don't even know. know. <laughs> it, it, it's a game. It's a game. Chelsea should have won. You know. Technically, yes. Technically, I agree. Because yes. I watched the match yeah. and I thought that Chelsea did a better job. But you see, I mm. think Mourinho also did well with his substitutions. Didn't Excellent he? substitution. Coming with Jesse Lingard. But the problem with Chelsea is that they've got some, one or two players who they're not comfortable with. Alvaro Morata is being bashed heavily by Chelsea mm. fans. And I'm like, okay, if you're tired of drinking Alvaro, then go and drink water. Let's <laughs> drink water on the team as well. Alvaro <laughs> Morata, drink water. It's just a working up for Chelsea fans. And you know, it's been topsy-turvy for them. Mm. Consistent and inconsistent. Chelsea were talking about, oh, Barcelona, that was a good performance. And, was, uh, and there we go, a second half, uh, nobody knew what was mm. going to happen. So Chelsea lose out there to Manchester United, but the discussion is ongoing. Now a couple of Chelsea fans are thinking, maybe Romelu Lukaku is better than Alvaro Morata after all. I mean, it's going to be, a, a, you know, the, the pendulum is going to be swinging mm. left and right. Mm. So we'll see how that goes. That's it for the Chelsea mm. man. You really want to get off your chest. But you know, so, but you know what was interesting? When what I was watching it? the Chelsea man match what, there, what? The guy running the commentary, one yeah. of them kept saying that, oh, this is Lukaku's first goal against a big side. <laughs> a, a, against a, a team in top, the top six. Yeah, and that was it, that was, he, he kept saying it, and I was like, oh my goodness. This, didn't you this see that one see, is going to have the Manchester United fans Lukaku's, on his neck? Lukaku's um, demeanor. Demeanor. He, he was excited. He was praying. He said, oh, finally. Because that has been <laughs> one of the, you know, the critics always say, Lukaku cannot play in the big games. So Lukaku gets a big game like this, really. Chelsea defense, though. <laughs> in 60s and 70s and an assist and a goal mm. and he almost scored another one did you see the overhead kick that would have been a big 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 headline if you that for true. me i think that we need to commend him but he could have done better yeah, yeah, okay, um yeah. i i i may be wrong mm. i'm not a manchester united fan but honestly i think that his performance is dipping as, uh, as we go along for me because initially when i used to watch him his finesse his you know, it's style. not easy. You see, I'm, I'm saying it's not easy. And sometimes when you get when you get close to the players, you understand. When you play in Manchester United, there's a lot of pressure on you. You cannot play like you're playing Everton. There's the, the whole world is on you. I understand that. He's gradually warming up. And I think that truly we have to give Alvaro Morata and Romeo Lukaku the space. We have to, <laughs> don't we? We have to give them the space. Let's give them the space. I mean, they were, they were coming in. I'm in and big were, trouble for this Manchester Chelsea. Oh, oh, oh game. yeah, yeah, yeah. They love it, don't they? Uh, uh, thankfully, Manchester I didn't. Manchester City. Uh, yeah, 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 that Carabao one. Cup. How did you forget that? Uh, no, I, I didn't forget that the Manchester United one is more important to me because <laughs> I have uh, some dues to pay if I don't oh, do that. Okay, but okay. <laughs> but the Manchester City Arsenal, yeah. what happened to Arsenal? I didn't see Salah. I, I mean, I was expecting. I mean, not only even Salah, I didn't see Obama Young, the guy. See, I was expecting a certain level of competition. Four, was it? Yeah, wait, I mean, three. You, you, three three nil. nil. And, and I was, still wasn't expecting was that for the form that Arsenal has been showing us <laughs> lately. I don't know why Arsenal beat Chelsea to be in the final. I don't know. That was such a poor final. One-sided, all through. And look, at a point, Man City felt, this is all too much for Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Let's just take a foot up the pedal. And mm -hmm. that's what we saw. Three goals to nil with absolutely a lot of power to add. Arsenal just didn't come to the party. But look, don't worry. Arsenal fans are not surprised. <laughs> They're just waiting for Arsene Wenger to leave. But when is he going to leave? Doesn't look like Nobody he's ever knows. going to leave. That's the worry for Arsenal fans now. <laughs> so they just... Cr I mean, they were leaving the stadium after 20 minutes. I'm 20 minutes at the end of the game. Let's just go home. It's the same thing. It's the same old Arsene Wenger. The only thing that has changed about him is the hair, they say. <laughs> it's moved from... Black to grey. So what? no worries there. <laughs> no worries there. But, mm. but we had some interesting headlines as well. I mean, um, this week, aside these two games, Liverpool moved into second. 
only for a moment, they're back to third. But now Chelsea fans have to be concerned about whether they can make the top four mm. because Spurs are showing great form. Man City already, they have won the league. Manchester United are in there somewhere. Liverpool are now, you know, getting there. So that's going to be a, a very massive tight mm. fight to see who gets in the top four. That should be one of the concerns for them. In Spain, Cristiano Ronaldo uh, scores two goals. He gets a brace. He has a chance to get a hat-trick because it was a penalty opportunity mm. then he decides to give the ball to um, Benzema to score the goal and the whole world is talking about it oh but of course he's maturing you, be, he, he's what <laughs> he's maturing no that's he, not he, the he point. doesn't want to be selfish and, that's not the point but it's I, Ronaldo will take the ball and score and say 50 up and do his thing ah <laughs> But this time he says, oh, Benzema, he to score. But he loves playing with Benzema anyway. Yeah. Real Madrid I think got, they are quite yeah. a fluid uh, combination. They, 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 they love it. Because Benzema will always want Ronaldo to score. That's why he likes him. If no, you want to score, when you have the, the chance. The, the last <laughs> match I watched, um, was it Sev no, it wasn't Sevilla. It was mm. another team, the okay. one before it's this. Alves. Is it Alves? Yeah, mm. yeah probably. Mm. And um, the, the, he actually, I think, assist. Ronaldo gave him well. an assist. Yeah, they work well. You see, yeah. Benzema can hold the play. And allow Ronaldo to score the goals. Mm. If you have a Vara Morata with your Diego Costa, they want to score the goals. So Ronaldo doesn't like that kind of thing. Anyway, that's the other point. Barcelona got the win. But Luis we Farad also won. Yeah, you won. Yeah, so it's added. You got Real Madrid win. got the okay, win. Sorry. Yeah. I'm scared of Madrid's form at this time. The Champions League and they're scoring goals. I'm so scared. But Barcelona <laughs> also got the win. They beat Hirona by six goals to one. Guess who scored first? It was Hirona who scored the first goal. And Barcelona said, why do you do this now? Here we go with the six goals. Luis Suarez, the hat-trick. Atletico Madrid were also very good. They beat Sevilla by five goals to two. That's a big, big, big surprise. In Germany, Bayern Munich failed to hold the record. They were looking for a 15th straight victory. But they were held by Hertha Berlin. But even more crucially is what Gennaro Gattuso is mm. doing with AC Milan mm. in, in Italian Serie A. They are beginning to play well. And they beat Roma and they are up against us now in the Europa League. Check out for <laughs> that too, so. <laughs> I, so. I like that wink at the yeah, end of that, yeah, you that, know. That, check out, check out. That, mm. would be, that would be such a great, great game uh, to look forward to. I think what yeah. must have been a really bad weekend for Bayern. The, uh, the team that beat them, what's, what's their status on no, the no, table? No, no, no. Berlin is uh, one of the teams who are struggling, basically. Can and, you uh, imagine? No, it's it's, 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 <laughs> it's football. Of, it's football, so it happens. You know, it goes up, it comes down, and I think it's just good. Every team is getting ready, but I think that Paris Saint-Germain have an issue. You know, they play your team, Real Madrid, in the Champions League nine days ago, and Neymar was stretched off. Ooh. Massive injury. But they I hope I will win the second leg. Nobody will come and say because Neymar no, was no, in. I because in the first leg, he was in, and we yeah. still beat them. I, I think that Paris Saint-Germain are better without Neymar. I think so. You think yeah, so? When, when it, they are better without Neymar when he doesn't decide. Or, you know, normally he decides to play like an individual player. If he decides mm. to play as a team player, then they are better off. But if... He's going to be that individual up there. So we you saw think the we should leg. watch out? Oh well, so you watch out. Without Neymar in the assets. second leg? Anything to stop Madrid from winning the third in a row. Watch us make history again. Thank you very much, uh, George, but we'll leave it here. But I must say again that, yes, yesterday, Manchester United beat Chelsea. Ah, oh, we didn't say yeah, that. Yeah, by two goals Jose to one. Jose Mourinho. Yes, Jose Mourinho did that. Uh, Jose. Wonderful Did work. you see Jose Mourinho at the end of the game? He always wants a headline. So he said, whilst he was walking straight handshake with Antonio Conte, then he looks at the camera and says, oh, don't look at me. Don't, don't, don't yeah, focus yeah. on me. Come yeah, he kept saying, focus on the guys. Focus on the guys. They did it. Focus and on the guys. And there was a note that was sent to... I could not believe it. What was in the I, note? It was just a scribble. I, I, I'm sure they understand so, what it means. Some, some, <laughs> some say, he said, now we have got a second go pack the bus. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, we are still wondering what the note was. There's, there's some interpretation to it, but it was hilarious. Said, someone I just said, saw the note. Wood Williams says, knock somebody down. Well, we we're surprised. Hey, Moreno. Moreno spends more time coaching the defenders than the attackers. That's why he has a defensive team, I think. Anyway, interesting <laughs> game it was yesterday, Manchester United anyway, to Chelsea. Okay. Uh, but, well, that'll be it for the sports uh, today on News. Let's go take a quick breather. When we come back, definitely bring you more stories you need to hear. Do stay.